initiative to improve the mental health of students was presented to Pitt County school officials and community leaders. It's called Compassion Reaction. WNCT's Josh Birch spoke with organizers and school counselors. Josh, what's the purpose of this initiative? Well, Angela, it's really geared towards getting kids to think about their actions and how they impact others. The hope to reduce bullying, suicide and self-inflicted harm. We really could see positive change in the lives of young people. Improving mental health and eliminating bullying is something very personal for Daryl Scott. His daughter Rachel was the first victim of the Columbine shooting back in 1999. From her diaries and from her life, we've created uh, programs that really reach the hearts of kids. Scott is the founder of Rachel's Challenge, which aims to start chain reactions of kindness to positively shape schools and communities. In education, there's so much emphasis on the, the head and not enough on the heart. And so what we provide is that element of the heart. Rachel's Challenge, along with My Strength, Youth Mental Health First Aid, and Youth Move make up Trillium Health's Compassion Reaction, all geared towards getting help to kids who need it while improving their mental health. We go into the classrooms um, every month and do character education. Pitt County School Counselor Lisa Moore says they try to take proactive approaches when it comes to mental health to let kids know they're not alone. These are issues that everybody has and it's okay to discuss it and you're not out, you know, you're not the only one that's feeling these feelings. Moore says she believes an initiative like Compassion Reaction can make a big change and help prevent mass shootings that have become all too common. Maybe they should look at how they should change their behavior, how they react to others. Maybe they can see what they've done has made a negative impact on other people. And with momentum growing around the movement, Scott says shootings can hopefully be avoided. If we can start teaching our children at the school level to treat each other with kindness and compassion, we will see a lot of this prevented. Now, Scott estimates they've reached about 22 million kids with Rachel's Challenge. Pitt County Schools hope to have the programs implemented in middle and high schools within the next few months. For more information on these programs, visit our website, WNCT.com. Josh Birch, 90 Your Side. Thank you, Josh. Rachel's father also talked with us about today's horrific shooting in Roanoke. He had a message for the families involved today with what got him through his tragedy. The one thing I say to parents who lose a child is celebrate their life. Don't focus on revenge and anger and bitterness. Focus on, if you can, forgiveness and moving on with your life to, I don't mean move on to forget your child, but moving on to celebrate your child's life. Scott said anytime a shooting happens, he grieves along with the families involved.